In this video, I'm going to demonstrate an application of exponential functions. The problem is, Taylor received an inheritance of $100,000 on his 21st birthday. That would definitely be nice. Taylor immediately invested this money in an account that earns interest compounded continuously. What annual interest rate compounded continuously will let Taylor have $1 million in this account by age 50? To solve this problem, we're going to use the compound interest formula A equals P times E to the R T. We know a few things in here. We know that our initial investment was $100,000. We know that we want the ending amount in the account to be one million. And we also know the time that this growth occurred. It started at age 21 and ended at age 50, so that's 29 years. Substituting the known values will enable us to solve for the value of R. The value of A is the ending amount, so we would have 1 million is equal to our initial investment of 100,000 times E to the R is our unknown, and T is 29 years. We first need to isolate the E to the 29R, and we can do that by dividing each side by 100,000. So on the left, making that division, we just get 10 is equal to e to the 29r. Now we use properties of logs to solve this equation. If we take the natural log of each side, we get natural log of 10 equals the natural log of e to the 29r. So on the left, we have natural log of 10 is equal to 29r. Recall that natural log and E are inverse functions, and so we just get what is in the exponent. Then we can divide by 29. Using our calculator, we would get that R is approximately 0 0.0794. So this means that Taylor needs to invest his money at 7.94% interest compounded continuously for 29 years to have $1 million by age 50.